Welcome to my channel. I thought to make a review of this Cricut Machine Explore 3. So this is actually like the newest model item and there's like a button here so you can just already slowly open it. I already had bought a mat special for that since I saw it on other uh, people's stuff. So especially with the Explore 2. I did not use the uh, bought the Cricut Maker because I don't need it if I just want to have some stickers created. So, and then you have this spot. I assume is just for having your iPad on it, but I don't own an iPad or anything. Like I just have a small tablet, but that one is too old to work with. And then we have here like the blade thing, and I assume this is sort of like its eye, so it can see where it's like cutting and all that stuff so for scanning here you have like some open spots i assume you can put some tools in there that you need like extra cutting tools or something or anything you like i assume then you have like a start button and this button is for uh, having the paper or whatever you put in there uh, the vinyl paper so it can drag it up into the machine and then you have the play button which is of course for starting the process and the pause button never used pause button i assume it's the pause button so yeah this is the explore 3 Then obviously I've done my research, so I took and choose for the Evergreen Goods. As you can see this is like their logo, Evergreen Goods. I chose the matte white vinyl and I have an inkjet uh, printer, my Epson, so highly recommend. Also got that advice from others who are using these to pick the ones which is only inkjet. So I also have it with the glossy white vinyl version. So they're like 10 sheets each. So I'm just gonna try out and finally print out my new stickers that I designed. So we'll just have like a look at it. And hopefully I can help you with how to set it up and stuff just to show you how the quality is and what I want to make to sell for my Etsy shop, you know, or my online shop. So now I'm gonna already my printer my Epson I'm gonna use the matte one first if I can pull it in there with just one hand and we're ready to print these but first I'm gonna use the Cricut app that you have to download for your um, Cricut machine <laughs> So what I'm gonna do next is to place the images into my canvas. So I'm just gonna click on upload. As you can see, I already uploaded some stuff to try it out. And then I'm gonna look for my sticker designs, which I actually have here. So I'm gonna use these that I made of Silent Hill. I'm gonna drag them into here. Then we choose for complex. And then apply and continue and then I choose to print then cut image upload and I don't know where the rest went but I'm just gonna upload them again which is just the same process uploading complex 
continue, apply and continue, print then cut image. I assume that is to print it first and then afterwards you're just gonna cut it out. So I already have two of them. Then you select your image, go to add to canvas and I have in the meanwhile already added the three of them. Let's see, I'm gonna select all three of them and then above here in the, at the size I can make it like six centimeters for me. Also recommended actually to use like a shape behind just using this triangle since I've been seeing other people doing it which is pretty neat drag the layer on the bottom i don't know if you can lock it apparently not but now you can see where it comes to and we can drag this all the way to the corner give it some space well since there's like just three of them you can give it a bit extra space here so i think it's also important to keep to keep some distance between um, where they're gonna cut okay so i'm gonna pick all of these three i'm gonna copy paste let's see how many we can get on one so after you have all your stickers on there you select everything that you have and then we click on attach which you can find in the bottom now you can see there's like an explanation mark or however you say it in English, excuse me for that. You can click on that and then just click on the auto resize image since it's not like in the the part where it can print and where it can detect everything. Like here it says image is too large for the A4 size paper. We have detected that the max size of the shape is this much on this much centimeters or an inch if you have it an inch or whatever. So we just click on auto resize image and then it automatically just adjusts it for you. You can always just click on a separate um, image just to see if it's still the height or like the size that you want it to be. For me this is good. And then we click on make it. So here we can see already a review on how it's going to be printed on your paper. So I'm not going to mirror anything. Uh, which is like an option here if you want to mirror it it is all up to you you can adjust your printing thing but it will always be inside of the thing so mostly it just stays the same so i don't touch this then we click on continue then we want to send it to a printer um, i do not select the add bleed and then I do select use system dialog. So now it will like connect and give you the options for your printer. Then we click, click print. So now there's like a pop-up thingy for my printer here. So I can have uh, my preferences. And since I'm printing on a more quality paper, like the vanilla one, I, with my Epson printer, I use Epson photo quality inkjet. Since I have inkjet, I, there's no other option. And then the quality I place on high and then you just click on OK to print it. Also make sure your um, Cricut machine is connected. So what I use for um, cutting the sheets, like I'm gonna do a die cut stickers, which means it's gonna fully cut through the paper as singular um, stickers. So I'm going to use the medium cardstock, so this one, as you can see. Since this is selected, we can choose for a pressure, but I don't really touch it. You can have, it, have less pressure or more pressure, but I just keep it on default. So what you do next is just follow these steps that you see here on the screen and everything will be okay.
Uh, for those who want to use the glossy paper, uh, you can see I have tape on it. I don't know if you actually can see it. You can tape on it, uh, not with regular tape, but with this matte tape. You know, we call it teacher tape because the teachers always had it. But you can use these, so um, whenever the Cricut machine is like scanning them with the, <laughs> the eye, the light that you can see, I have the feeling it will reflect and I also got this tip from another U YouTuber artist out there and it's very good. It helped me when cutting my glossy stickers, so highly recommend it. Grab yourself some matte tape and you'll be fine. So as we can see here, this is the matte version and this is the gloss version. My final thoughts are actually that I prefer the gloss version. The reason why is because they're more waterproof. They say the paper is waterproof, but the glossy, I tried to put water on myself and that had more result of being waterproof compared to the matte one, because the, uh, the matte one, uh, it still smudges at some point and it's not really focusing. Also, the colors on the matte one is more like, like the colors aren't as vibrant compared to the glossy ones. You can see it a little bit through my camera here if it wants to focus for one day. Thank you. Um, yeah, I prefer, I first thought that I preferred the matte one, but when I printed the glossy one, I preferred the glossy one. So yeah, that is my final result. If I were you and you want to create stickers, I picked the glossy ones. I already made some, uh, the ones of uh, Sound Hill. So yeah, glossy versus matte, I recommend glossy. And you can also have like an extra foil of some holographic stuff on there. But yeah, I'm very happy with the glossy ones. And I'm only speaking about the ever uh, green goods, the vinyl paper. Uh, I ordered mine from the UK, but I got custom fees, so since I live in Europe. Um, but you can easily find them back on Amazon. They have it on, I think, all Amazon though, so you can't miss it. So yeah, that is my final result of my stickers. And I'm very happy that I made them and hopefully I can make more of them and sell them for my Etsy shop because everything you can find back on my Etsy shop and everything is in the description down below. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps a little bit. If it's a little bit of ASMR kind of feel, that's also good. Leave in the comments if you enjoyed it or not and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.